Okay, assuming we put all this in a file, and it's right here, we can actually pull it up on the web, uh, dump.txt, and see it. But normally we wouldn't be putting it in the web root where it was visible. We would probably be putting it um, somewhere else on the server where it wasn't visible directly from the web. So how would we pull this up to look at it? Well, just as we can do a read, we can also do a write. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I'll delete all of this and I'll, well, actually I'll, I'll create a new file. So let me save it and I'll do a new file and I'll call this one, uh, just, um, we'll call it read.php. And um, here we don't need a bunch of ifs. We're just going to have the body and we'll go right into the PHP. So let me go ahead and pull out everything through to here. And we'll just do um, my invitations. And then we'll go ahead and put out what we have in the file. So how do we do that? We still need to have a, a file handle. So we'll do a, an FH equals, and remember it's to open something, we do an open. Um, and then we have the name of the file, which is dump.txt. And then what we're going to do with it, in this case, we're going to actually read it. Um, and we should have the or die. And I'm going to be lazy and just say, oops, here. That's probably not a good idea because you won't know where that has happened, but that'll work for now. Now we're going to go ahead and read in the fa the contents, and we'll just call it contents equals, and we'll use, you probably could guess this, read. Again, we have to tell it where to, and we're going to do it from this one. And um, then we need to do how much of it we're going to read. Now this is a weird one because we don't know how much is in there, but we can find out how much is in there by doing it this way. Um, uh, we can do it uh, of, we have to tell it what the name of it is again, dump.txt. So file size dump.txt measures how much file there is, and this takes in all of it. So this is basically saying read everything in that file, and again we'll say uh, or die in case it fails, and we'll just say, uh, oh no, again, not very good um, messaging there, but it works. And then once we have the contents, well, we could we could probably we should probably uh, I always forget to do this, and it's bad practice not to. F close of FH, and that'll close that file. Um, and then once we have it, we can actually echo all of the contents. Okay, oops, content. Okay, so now we have a full thing um, that pulls it in and echoes it. Let's go ahead and uh, upload this new file. Um, to the same place and then we can go here to read.php okay so it reads it in but unlike the text here it doesn't it if, if I look at the source of this um, I can uh, I can see that it's on separate lines but remember ph uh, HTML doesn't care about that we need some breaks after this that could be a little bit of a pain here because we don't know where the breaks are. So I'm going to take a, a different uh, path in reading this in. Instead of using the F open and everything else, I'm going to do uh, uh, something that does it very quickly. I mean, it doesn't need the F open. It doesn't need a file handler. It doesn't need to close it. I can do it directly in here in one line. And what I can say is use the file command and the file is just the name which is uh, dump.txt and this says contents is just the f whatever that file is loaded into contents and what it loads it into as is as an array so we can't echo it straight out we need to it's an array with one line for each one so we can use what we already know how to use which is for each uh, contents sorry contents as I'll just do a line. So we'll do one line at a time. And for each of those, we'll echo a line. And then we should echo, for example, a break. So we have a break between each line. And then that'll be the end of that. And we'll save it. File, 
save. So what this does is it loads it all into contents as an array, and then it steps through that array uh, step by step. Uh, until it outputs the whole thing, but this way we can put a break between each of those lines. So let's go ahead, oh, we need to tell it to overwrite, and then if we refresh this, we get them each on e a new line. And we could do things like we could look for these dashes and replace them with a horizontal rule. We could do lots of things this way, but that's two ways we can load things in using read.